Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. Last time we left off, we fought our way through the bottom experiment labs, found out a little bit more about uh, what team, well I guess they're not really a team, they're the Aether Foundation, what they're up to. And today we're going to go follow Howe and Gladion up the elevator? Is that where they went? I actually don't remember where they went. Um, I'm lost, can you help me? Um, yeah, okay, so he's like probably up the elevator, right? No, actually he's not. They probably went this way. Yeah, they're over here. Okay, I gotcha. Hey, it's Faba and his minions. How did I know that you would betray me? My, my, what naughty children. You should just lay your heavy heads down. But I knew that you would struggle onward. I could see through every action you would take. So I knew you would try to reach the president. And that is why I knew that I would be able to ambush you here and remedy my previous failure. The only reason I let you in the lower floor was to buy time to gather more staff to stop you. Ah, okay, so he wasn't sending us the wrong way necessarily. Well, he kind of did. Eh, whatever. So, uh, Mr. Faba, do you have the key to the president's rooms? Um, if he does, he's not going to give it to us. You know, unless we beat him in a battle, of course. Indeed, I have it right here. So, if you'd just stayed hidden, we would have been stuck here anyway, right? <laughs> How's right? I love how the game points that out, though. What? <laughs> Enough, you lot. Teach these children a lesson. We don't have time for this. Help me out here, Black Ice. Alright, Gladion, you got it. I will back you up. Gotta appreciate the game being a little self-aware there. You silly villains. You could have just stayed hidden the whole time, and we wouldn't have been able to get past you. Aether Foundation employee and Aether Foundation employee. Okay. Magmar and Electabuzz, a classic combination. Is it me and Gladion? It sure is. And so we're going to send out Raichu and Golbat. Okay, I don't think we really have any super powerful attacks to use... If I were to guess, I would say that out of Electabuzz and Magmar, that Electabuzz probably has the lower defense, but I have I actually have no idea. You know what? Let's just go for the Nuzzle on Magmar, which will hopefully not inflict us with burn because of possible flame body, but I think that'll at least help us in the battle. Alright, they're using Light Screen now, so any special attacks are going to be a lot, doing a lot less damage. Okay, and Magmar is fully paralyzed, cannot do anything to help. Alright, so let's go for... Let's just go for Psychic on Electabuzz. I'm going to hope that uh, Golbat goes for Magmar to finish it off. And in the meantime... Oh, wow. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, so I think maybe... Oh, it's going for Discharge. T took out its own Pokemon. That's, that's it. <laughs> Golbat's still hanging in there just fine, actually. And now that lets us attack Electabuzz directly. I will attack your life points directly. That's not really how that works. Uh, okay, so yeah, the trainer commanding Electabuzz there basically just lost them the battle 100%. Not that they would have won anyway, but it would have ended a turn later at least. I guess it's back to honest Pokemon conservation activities for me. Losing to you generated dark feelings in me. I'm becoming an edgelord too. Dark feelings. All right. So they just all run away. Faba's just like, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> How can this be? To be cornered by mere children? Maybe helping one another out isn't so bad. Black Ice, how? Leave Faba. I leave Faba to you. All right, fine. E enough. I will show you the true power of Branch Chief Faba, the man who was called Aether Paradise's last line of defense. We will settle this at last with a multi-battle. What's a multi-battle? Come on, Black Ice. Let's show them just what our Pokemon are capable of. For Lily and for Cosmog, too. Okay, let's go for it. Is it, like, 3v2? or Because Gladion didn't actually leave yet. He's still kind of standing there outside the battle. So we got Faba and an employee. Although Faba seems to have three Pokemon. I don't remember if he had three last time or what, but... Ledian and Slowbro? Oh, hey, it that's kind of cool. 
instead of like saying you sent out whatever and Hal sent out whatever, it said like you both sent out Raichu basically. It said like Black Ice and Hal sent out Raichu. So that's kind of neat. All right, so I mean, I think it's super effective no matter who we pick. So you know what? Just to make sure I stay in the battle, let's go for Gigavolt Havoc. And let's attack Slowbro because I think he's got the higher special defense than Ladian. Oh, and actually, how... Oh, why must you be faster? All right, well, Slowbro is definitely going down. I was really hoping that I would go faster, but, and I, you know, I should have remembered that Hal is right, you was faster. Uh, but I was hoping to take out Slowbro, and then Hal would then take out Ladian. Oh, well. This will work, but... I was hoping to get a quick, well, I guess kind of two-on-one, but also 2v2. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if, like, this employee of his Lady and Fates, if Faba can use one of his Pokemon to take its place in the battlefield. Bruxish. All right, well, luckily they just have a bunch of water types, which, again, I should probably remember from the last time we fought Faba, but I'll be honest, I don't. Anyway, we'll Volt Switch on Lady and actually... Bruxious isn't water type, but it is. Why didn't it say it was super effective? Oh, probably because we never fought one before. So maybe we didn't actually fight um, Faba's Bruxish. I don't know. I'm confused. Anyway. Oh, Ladian's got pretty good special defense. Okay, was not expecting that exactly. Okay, so I think Decidueye would be an okay choice, although Ladian does have the bug type attacks. You know, let's just send out Wishy Washy. And I found out, thanks to my amazing viewer, Mr. Hamov, which I, again, hope I said pronounced correctly, that Wishy Washy still should be pretty much by far the heaviest hitter on the team. Maybe not necessarily by far, but should be pretty freaking good. And so far, that hasn't been working out. And I don't know, maybe I'm using Wishy Washy wrong, so. Um, I hope to use Wishy Washy correctly. We'll go ahead and use Dive on Lady, and I think would be the best option. Or actually, Faint Attack would be super effective against Bruxish. So let's try that. Because I think Bruxish is part Psychic type. It's either Psychic or Poison or something weird like that. Alright, well, Hal's going to take out the Bruxish anyway. So, not a huge deal. But hey, Wishy Washy goes to level 38. That's pretty nice. Gaining lots of attack. Ooh, Aqua Tail. Now that's an attack we want to learn. Probably going to replace Dive, honestly. All right, so that's 90 power, 90 accuracy. 80 power, 100. Ooh. Yeah, let's get rid of Dive. I don't like the two turn attacks. Plus, I mean, we get more power with Aqua Tail. A little bit less accuracy. Oh, yeah, and Raichu's going to level up as well. All right, Lady and going for the Reflect, so... There goes my physical attacks. Well, I mean, they're still going to work, obviously, just a lot less effective. And he's going to send out Hypno, so yeah, I guess we just uh, hope we survive and go for the... Actually, no, let's just U-turn against Hypno. Because we could go with getting Wishy-Washy out of the battle. Awesome, and how able to take out the Lady in? And let's just hope that Wishy-Washy happens to be faster than Hypno, but actually Hypno is like really, er, not Hypno's, uh, Wishy-Washy is actually really slow. I think its speed is like one of the only stats that doesn't get changed when, uh, it transformed. Or actually, no, I think the speed even goes down. Anyway, um, I guess we just send in, uh, Decidueye. Yeah, let's send in Decidueye. And this Hypno should be relatively easy to get rid of at this point. It's going to go ahead for our Spirit Shackle, the coolest attack of all time, or at least one of them. Let's see if Howl will take out Hypno first. No, okay, so yeah, they still got their light screen and reflect up, I forgot. But hey, every time they're using Hypnosis, we can dodge it with our shouts, and Decidueye, Deadeye Decidueye, with a great shot, the explosive arrows, and that'll win us the battle right there. How about that? No Pokemon fainting, strategic uses of Volt Switch and U-Turn. That feels pretty good. Ooh, Sucker Punch could be nice. Ooh, in fact, it's Dark type though. 70 power, 100. Hmm. I mean, our special attack is actually better than our physical attack, which is surprising, but nice. I mean, 
I don't know. I mean, I kind of like having synthesis. This is tough. Because, I mean, I want to have at least one grass and one ghost attack. Which, Spirit Shackle would be the go-to ghost attack. Because, uh, let's see. Can we, um... If I hold down L, will this... Okay, yeah, it'll... Actually, I don't even need to hold down L. So that's 80 power, 100. That's 70 power, 100 with high crit ratio. Oh, this is tough. I mean, Sucker Punch is nice, but I don't think it really f fills much of a niche that we really need to have. Let's see, Dark would be super effective against... Uh, well, Psychic, obviously, but so is Ghost. And I know it's super effective against something else. It has to be. I just can't think of it right now. Is it Fairy? I thought Fairy was strong against Dark, though. Anyway, I think we're gonna not learn Sucker Punch. It's nice to have, but... I mean, our current moveset is already really good. Aye! Here's an impression for you. Aye! <laughs> nice. Well done, Aether Foundation employee. We're a very good uh, jokester. Oh, he's running away. Well, oh, that was kind of weird. He sort of, like, ran into the railing there. Trying to get around How, and then he ran away. Eh, whatever. I want to help save Lily, so I'm going ahead. You don't mind, right? <laughs> oh my god, the faces. They're so terrible. Or at least mine is. How's just like super happy. Thanks for the key, Mr. Faba. And then Gladiator's like really mad. And then I'm just like the same face as I always will ever have. This is why. This is why I can't bring myself to like children. I don't blame you, dude. I'm just kidding. Children are okay. They could be annoying, but mostly they're fine. If you want to find Lucy, I mean, we gotta go to the entrance on one F floor before. Oh my goodness, the team skull grunts are just falling over. Oh, Gladion's just running through all these guys. He doesn't care. He's not battling any of them. In fact, he's just gonna battle Guzma, I guess. <laughs> what a weird pose. Even Guzma's laughing at him. Whoa, there's like an Uku billion team skull thugs in this place. Yeah, what are they doing here, actually? So the Foundation really was working together with Team Skull? This is, like, way too mind-blowing to think about right now. Black Ice, let's knock some skulls together for now. So yeah, like, what the heck are these guys doing here? Uh, okay, and weird top-down view. Alright, I'm just gonna go look for some items first. Because there has to be some around here somewhere. Ooh, what the heck is this? Can I go in here? No. But there is a thing to go into the Zygarde cube, which is nice. No items over here, though. Maybe in the other side. Um, yeah. So that's... Hmm. We're gonna have to find out what's going on. Or maybe Team Skull's trying to stop the Aether Foundation? I kinda doubt that. They don't seem to be on our side if they're battling us. Alright, full heal. I guess that's okay, although I have like 50 of them. And even that's like kind of useless. How are my Pokemon doing? Do we get healed up after the Faba battle? Well, we sure did. Alright, let's go ahead and switch Mudstill to the front of the party. Put Raichu back in the back because Raichu's level 40 already. It's crazy how much our team's growing lately. Alright, anyway. How's gonna battle this Joker? Are these guys dead? Oh, I can't talk to them. They might be dead. Alright, let's hope not. Don't wish that upon them. I gotta keep the boss from getting his hands dirty, so I'm gonna wreck you myself. Alright, you got it. I mean, you're gonna try to, is what you mean to say. It's not actually gonna work out for you. Sorry to, sorry to let you know that. And again, a bunch of uh, just single battles. Eh, whatever. Let's see, he's gonna send out Golbat, so our ground type attacks aren't gonna work, but you know what? We got Heavy Slam. Again, a giant horse should be a lot heavier than the stupid bat thing. He's going for the Leech Life, which, again, was buffed in this generation, I believe. It's just gonna give us more stamina, though. So, not too much of a problem there. And yeah, Heavy Slam doing some decent damage. Gonna be able to get the two hit KO. How did Swift do more than Leech Life? I guess they didn't buff Leech Life as much as I thought they did. Oh well. That's fine by me. 
And hey, we got a crit in the second time, because why would we get it the first time? That would make it way too easy. Anyway, good job, Budsdale. You're level 38 now. I think I will heal Mudsdale. Wasn't me who got crushed. It was my Pokemon, right? You think so too, right? Well, I mean, literally, yes. I did heavy slam it into the ground twice. So, I mean, he's on to something. Oh, right, we only have uh, super potions. How are we doing on health here? Eh, super potion would be okay. Eh, eh, it's not great, but whatever. Wait, what do you say? Do you say Dakara? What does that mean? This is for the sponsor who supports Team Skull. Oh! Team Skull, sponsored by the Aether Foundation. Oh my god, wait a minute. The Aether Foundation's whole purpose was to conserve Pokemon from people like Team Skull. They hired Team Skull to do this stuff. Just so they would have a cover for their crazy experiments they're performing at the Aether Paradise. Oh my goodness. You mad freaking geniuses! Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and double kick. Because it's either dark or normal dark. Either way, it's gonna get hurt pretty hard with these kicks to the face. Or, well, right in the chin, actually. And yeah, that's gonna just win the battle for us right there. Thanks for trying. All our strength comes from the money we've gotten. Oh, so you're like literally funded by the... Well, I guess that's the definition of sponsor, isn't it? Alright, are you gonna... Yo, yo, yo. Pretty strong, ain't you? Then go right ahead. I'm no numb skull. I don't fight battles I can't win. Alright, well, the first smart team skull grunt of the bunch. Alright, maybe not the first smart one, but a smart one nonetheless. Yeah, so I'm not strong enough. All the days that I struggled alone and lonely, it was all for nothing, is that it? Big Bad Guzma put the beat down on Gladion, we're gonna have to step in. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma is here. I did that spoiled little brat a favor and crushed him, yeah that was me. You know, I kinda liked you, kid. Leaving home like that and wanting to get stronger and stronger, you had some real guts. Going so far as to come over to Team Skull and rejecting your own mother? That was impressive. And now it's your turn. You little misfits keep getting up in my grill like a cloud of smoke that I can't brush away. It's time I put your fire out at the source. Alright, gonna fight Guzma again who is like one of my favorite characters in this entire game. He's got great theme music. And I just, his personality is pretty cool. Anyway, Galissapod versus Mudsdale. Oh, just, you could just hear the thundering of Mudsdale landing onto the ground. All right, so this is not a great matchup, obviously. So, yeah, we're probably gonna be slower as well. Does this have any additional effects? No, it's just real good. Uh, I guess we go for Stomp. Oh, right, no, it's Water-type. I forgot. I'm sorry, Mudsdale. I, I was like, it's Bug something, right? And then I remembered at the very last second. Anyway, I guess we send out Toucanon and hope for the best. We can try to charge up a Beak Blast, which is what I'm going to go for right off the bat. Expecting a physical attack, and he did have one, but he's gonna miss, so that's fine. We'll just get the raw damage from Beak Blast. Oh, right, emergency exit. He's gonna switch out. I always forget about that. Mask Rain. Alright, so he's just got a bunch of bug types, so yeah. Toucanon can literally just eat them all. Oh, well. You know, or be intimidated. That's fine, too, I guess. I don't think Mask Rain is gonna have any physical attacks, though, and I think Air Slash is a special attack. Yep, well, at least an attack that doesn't make contact, so... Wow, even with the Intimidate... Oh, it was a crit. Okay, well, still, good job, Toucanon. You're awesome. Galissapod. We're gonna keep Toucanon out, and... Hmm... I don't know. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna switch. Switch into the Decidueye. I'm expecting a 
the razor shell attack, which is, um, it is a, a water type attack, so won't do a whole lot of damage to Wishiwashi. Let's see. Wishiwashi started with 92 HP and is going to, oh, what the heck is first impression? Whoa, what a first impression. Oh my goodness. Okay, is that like, if your opponent switches in, it does tons of damage? Let's send in Rabombi, because I'm guessing that's going to be a Bug-type attack, but, I mean, I have no idea. And he's going for Razor Shell, of course. Oh my goodness. Alright, Guzma is actually a really powerful trainer. Let's send in Raichu, because we'll hopefully be faster. And, hmm. I mean, any bug type attack is going to take us out. Let's go for Volt Switch. And that is enough to KO Golisopod. And by the way, Golisopod level 41. We're under leveled at this point, and we fought every trainer. Then again, I haven't fought every wild Pokemon encounter, to be fair, but still. Hey, we're getting lots of level ups, though. Getting the 39. Let's send out Decidueye. And hope that he doesn't have any crazy bug types. Ariados. Uh, you know what? I will switch, actually, into uh, Raichu again, because Raichu's been pretty good. In fact, basically carrying the team at this point, which is pretty unexpected. I never expected that to play out that way. Uh, we can go for the Psychic, though. Hopefully get the one-shot in Ariados. And then his next Pokemon, I'm probably just going to use the Z-Move on to finish the battle up in a timely manner. Hello. Felstinger's gonna hurt. Oh no. Okay, if he KOs someone with Felstinger, he gets a big attack boost. Although, if we're faster, we'll be fine. In fact, I'm gonna go for Flame Charge just to raise our speed enough so that maybe we'll be faster than his next Pokemon as well. And we're not faster. Oh well, Sucker Punch is priority, but oh, that sucks. Oh, this is actually pretty scary. Alright, he's got Sucker Punch, which would be super effective against Decidueye, so... This is tough. Let's go for Wishy-Washy. You know, I have a weird strategy that I'm going to employ. And... Wait, we're getting... Huh? I thought we were too low HP to form a school, but I guess not? Alright. Alright, well, I'm basically... I mean, I mean I'm expecting... A sucker punch, but I don't know what to do at this point. I know I said it had a strategy, but I, I, I guess I don't. Let's go for Aqua Tail and pray. He didn't use sucker punch, and he missed with Fell Stinger. What a battle! Wishy Washy able to take out Ariados barely. All right, what's he got next? Pincer. Oh, of course. We're gonna keep battling though, and I'm gonna go for the Z move. Just hit Pinsir as hard as possible. Mold Breaker. Okay, that doesn't actually do anything in this case, I think. So we're going to go for the Z Aqua Tail, which I didn't check how much damage it does, but ooh, we might not even survive, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. We might lose. All right, you know what? I got to play this smart. We got max revives. Why not use them? Oh, we only have two of them. All right, we got regular revives. Why not use them? You know, Pinsir's not going to probably hurt Mudsdale a whole lot. Although an X-Scissor, I'm guessing, will one-shot Decidueye. Or... Wow. Okay, Decidueye survived. Question is, are we faster? We have a backup plan in case this goes horribly wrong. But let's go for the Sinister Arrow Raid. We're not faster. Okay, good to know. Sorry to... S oh. Oh my goodness, Decidueye. Toughened it out so we wouldn't be sad. And we're going to get the Sinister Arrow Raid off. Oh my goodness, Decidueye, you legend. Barely hanging on. And the Clutch Z move. To finish him off? Let's hope so. It's an air raid. Several explosions. Oh. Well, okay, you know what? We're just gonna switch out to Mudsdale because 
Again, I don't think he's going to do a whole lot of damage to Mudsdale. We got the physical defense, and plus we could just keep tanking him. Oh, but he's... X Scissor can crit, and... Oh, oh. Oh, no. And just like that, we're in trouble. Oh, no, I don't want to send Wishy Washy out. Game, what are you doing? Okay, so here's what we do. We look at our team. Who's got the highest defense? No, well, I mean, I guess I can check, but it's not going to be Decidueye, pretty much guaranteed. 66 defense. And Wishy Washy, I think these stats aren't going to be accurate. Yeah, there's no way that... Like, I'm saying if we got the school form out. But then again, I think he KO'd the school form. Raichu's under the question, it'll be super effective. bombi has got 50. Oh, wow. And it's either going to be... Well, actually, two cannon might be the best option. 94 defense on Mudsdale gets KO'd instantly by, well, from half HP by the um, X Scissor. 72 defense and will resist the X Scissor. So I think, yeah, we go for the revive on two cannon. And if Decidueye lives through this, that would be the most amazing thing of all time, basically. I'm hoping it'll work, but I highly, highly doubt it. Nope. Didn't happen. Alright, so, moment of truth. We're sending out two cannon. I am going to go for the heal first, though. Just in case. Um, will Super Potion be enough? That's going to do 60. And we have... Alright, yeah, this will be enough. Um, what? Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Charger, get over here. Alright, did I save it or did it shut off? Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that sucks. Try turning it on again and... I swear to you the battery thing did not go off. Like, it, it didn't change from green to red. To show that it's almost dead. Oh no. You know, it is Friday the 13th. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess off camera I'll get us back to where we were and then we'll just rematch against Guzma. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll do next time. Kind of uh, anticlimactic. Literally is about the uh, uh, the battle's about to end. Oh, man. I'm sorry about that, everyone. Alright, well, next time, we will battle Guzma yet again. And, you know, hopefully win. Hopefully won't be so close. Alright, anyway, um, that's gonna do it for me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video, despite the stupid ending. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.